Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, I hope you're keeping well. I'm back today then with another Spotlight video. So a couple of days ago I spoke about some of the games I got back in 1988. We're going to jump 10 years forward, or 20 years back, depends which way you look at it, to 1998. And the game in question is Half-Life. This is my original box copy, uh, which I bought around November time, 1998. I don't remember too many games being released around that sort of time. I think the only one I can remember playing a lot of was Conflict Free Space, which was a fantastic space game, a space shooter, a bit like Epic on the Amiga, just a hundred times better. Um, this is incomplete at the minute because my son does have my floppy, a floppy disk, what the hell, CD-ROM from out the box. He's not giving it back to me in the last 15 years, so I would like to get that back at some point. But yeah, this game got some fantastic reviews back in the day, and I remember it being arguably the best first-person shooter of all time at this point. I remember playing Alien Breed 3D, um, Gloom and games like that on the Amiga, played Doom on the PlayStation and a couple of others but this was the first real decent one I ever bought for my PC. And back then I had an off the shelf Packard Bell P166 MHz, 2 gig of hard drive space and something like 8 or 16 mega RAM I can't remember now and a Voodoo, um, Voodoo 2? 3DFX Voodoo 2 card? It was absolutely fantastic. This game I've never completed. I've got to the very end, um, kind of like a fetus looking thing, it's bloody horrible, but I can never beat it. And recently I got there, again, but I'm going to finish it off and try and complete the game once and for all. So I do like to go back to these really great games and play them until completion. But inside the box then you just get a cardboard box. Um, as I said, my son's got the CD uh, jewel case, I haven't got that back, but it looks just like the box art. Manual. Not really too much in there. Uh, recommended display settings for Half-Life. It was a different bloody graphics card. 3D Effects Voodoo 1, Banshee, I think I had a Banshee. 3D Effects Rush, Nvidia, Reva 128. Got some old cards. Matrox, is it? G200. Didn't realize how many different graphics cards there were back in the day. Bloody hell. Uh, and some kind of other thing take advantage of all your customer for benefits or whatever, bloody no. Some kind of competition card probably. Now along with Half-Life, um, Valve also released some add-on packs for it over the course of the next two or three years. I think it's like, yeah, I think one came out in 2000, maybe one in 99. But they took the, pers um, I can't get a bloody word up now took a different angle on the game so basically on that one you're Gordon Freeman the scientist the mad scientist trying to escape the complex then they brought one called opposing force which you played a military man so the military man was on his own isolated remember that redoubtable soldiers in half-life now you're one of them and although you were originally sent into black mesa to silence Freeman in the facility you now find yourself stranded battling against a hostile race known only as race X and a variety of other foes in an effort to save your own life. So that was a really good add-on actually. And this is complete, I've got everything inside that. Absolutely fantastic add-on. And they brought one out a year or two later, called Blue Shift. So yeah, thankfully I've still got all my originals. I'm not sure how much these go for now. I don't think they go for a lot of money to be honest. But yeah, Blue Shift you play as a cop or one of the security guards. But what I really liked about that is you could see some of the characters you play as you play as different characters. So you can see like Gordon Freeman. It's really strange from a different perspective in the game. It's all in the same complex. You're just in different parts of it. But you do kind of... You do see other characters in the game as you sort of progress through it. But that was Half-Life. But at the time I was also playing, I think, Conflict Free Space, which was, if you've ever played Epic or uh, Inferno and that, this is how it should have been done. Now, Conflict Free Space was an absolutely fantastic game. I think it was called something different in North America. I don't think it was called this. It's called something Free Space. But yeah, if you liked Epic and you liked Inferno, this game was absolutely fantastic. But I don't remember too many other games back in the day. Uh, another one may have been Grim Fandango. That was a fantastic LucasArts uh, game, which I do have, but I can't get hold of it at the minute because it's behind a load of bloody boxes. So yeah, Half-Life is my pick for 1998, so let's give it a go.
So welcome to Half-Life. Um, this is not exactly the same version I had originally. This is slightly different. It's the one I downloaded from Steam a few years back. So it does vary slightly. Now I think there's a more modern version, of a more modern remake of this game. Um, with upgraded graphics and all that sort of stuff. Which I've never played before. So I'm going to try and find a save point where the game is quite interesting. Just so I can show you what it looks like. Right, let's try and load a game. Right, so I'm on the last level, which is that top near length. I don't can't pronounce that. Whatever the flipping hell that is. Let's try and find. We've got hostiles. That's a pretty good level. Let's, let's load that one up. I think that's the first time you meet the army. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Now this game glides along, so I need to, just to set my mouse controls a bit because it's a bit, a bit too jumpy. Right, I don't mean to make you guys feel sick. I can't remember where the hell I am. Nope, right, okay. Search and destroy force Bravo. Oh, Mr. Croaky voice, the game is quite sparse in terms of sound. Oh, Christ, look at the graphics on that. Nice and square. Right. Maybe not. Maybe not again. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? Okay, we'll just... I'm not sure where the hell I am. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Yep, looks like it. Yeah, I've, I've been to the end of this game a couple of times. First time was back in 98. And again, recently this year, I've never beaten it. But I do love this game, it really is a cracking game. I think all my ammunition is pretty full up, to be honest. Oh, baby, have it! Bit too many weapons in there. Poor little scientist there's about to get his bollocks chopped off. Let's try and save him. Come here. Fuck, oh, bloody hell, mate. I'm going to experiment on that scientist in a minute. Whoa. Like I said, it's the first game I've ever played uh, this sort of style of game where you can actually interact with the characters in it. Let's beat some of these down a minute. Usually find some goodies in these crates. A few power ups here. Powers up your HEV suit. Power up some health. I guess most of you would have seen this game at some point. It's been around in many different guises. Xbox, PlayStation, obviously PC. It does have a sequel, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the heads up display is quite, quite simple, like any kind of modern first-person shooter, really. Just got your health. And that's about it. That's all you need to know. Toggle through the weapons for your mouse wheel, crowbar, pistol, machine gun. Now I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Shotgun's pretty cool. Love that sound. It's a very, very playable game. This is not unlimited either, but there you go. Right, I'm going to try and get this scientist a minute. Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. I'll wait right here. So I'll leave him there a second. I'm hoping I've got... No, I don't have any mines. Great. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I don't, mate, but follow me anyway. Just come up through there, didn't we? Right, follow me, sunshine. Let's try and get out of this bloody place. Come on.
Now if we go in here a minute. Come on. Chop chop. No, don't go back out. For God's sake, man. There's no point in doing that, but I love doing it anyway. Right, these things are flipping horrible. Oh, get off me. Yeah, they literally lift you up into the ceiling. First time they've ever done that to me 20 years ago, freaked the crap out of me. Not too impressed. Right, come on, scientist. Come on, let's go. Now these are pretty useless, but they do operate doors for... Ah, hello. Right, don't go through there, scientist. It's dangerous. Right, if I leave you here, mate, because you're going to have a hard time in a minute. Yeah, pain in the arse, mate. Right. Oh, my God, really? Right, I've got a long way around, I think you stay there, scientist. Strange, isn't it? All those bloody bullets in the crate don't do anything. Ah, oh, come on. Can I get in there? Can I have a wait? Yeah, of course you can. that sound. Right. You can jump on objects as you can quite clearly see I'm struggling to do so. What the hell? So particular. Bloody hell mate, what are you doing? The character does have a tendency to slide across the flipping floor. You little shithead. Sometimes if you crouch, then jump, it jumps a little bit higher for some reason. Right. Let's do it. There's loads of uh, health points. Right. What the hell? Oh, he's still down there, the old scientist. Shit. Ah, can't get the old shot. Whoa! Leave him alone! Don't run! Ah, don't be a twat! Come back! Don't so I'm with the science team! Hopefully he's not dead. Ah! They are thick as shit, the science team. Some of those things you can't destroy, unfortunately. Guys, pissing me right off. Oh, really? Some satisfaction in that, I tell you. What a gun. With every piece of ammunition you can get your hands on. I still think the graphics are pretty cool in this game, actually, even though they're a bit square, as you'd expect from a game from the late 90s. How they spew their guts out. But yeah, no, I think it looks really good. Like I said, this isn't the original release of it, it has had some upgrades. I believe. He's 
military guys are quite relentless. Recon my ass. You're gonna freaking recon this. Surprise, bitch! Oh, bloody Russians, aren't they? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> my dog! Bloody hell! What the flipping hell was that? Yeah, not particularly great at this game. Right, let's resume. Let's have a kamikaze attitude this time, Paul. Give you recon. Have it. Bits of blood everywhere. Have it. Brilliant. That's better. Don't jump off high ledges, it does cause a bit of damage. Hang on a minute, I've been down there already, haven't I? Yep, it's not down there I want to go, is it? I think there's a lift here, maybe. I think this is a bit you've got to run across an open area to get to some kind of bunker or something. I might be wrong. There's some heavy music, some serious bit of military hardware off the helicopter by the sounds of it. Right. What is that? Bloody bullets. Pretty sure you have to scarp her. Not sure we've got to run to. Let's run anyway. No. Oh, down there. Quick, 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 quick. Every now and then you do get music in the game, which is pretty cool. Now I can't get back up there again. Those are some really good um, set pieces in this game. Gets the old adrenaline pumping. Shooting me! Oh, it's that idiot down there, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Urgent sunshine. Sometimes you can shoot the great oh, bloody hell, little shithead. Fucking hell. I expect it now. Watch out for those little shits. Ha <laughs> ha, he jump out my skin. Very clever yourself, sunshine. I 
I don't re really know where I'm going. I just thought I'd uh, just mill around, for, mill around for a bit. Right, I think it's this way then. Let's do it. Am I supposed to flip and go? I'm a bit lost. Can't be that way, just come from that way. I don't know what it is, but I hate tunnel sections in games like this. I get on my bloody tits. Right, he's down there. I think these places just have a few little bonus bonuses in them. I think. Yep. Yeah, so basically you are Morgan Freeman. Is that his name? Norman, something, I don't know, something like bloody, something like that. And you got to escape the Black Mesa facility. So an experiment has gone badly wrong. The place is absolutely infested with aliens of some description. So you've got to escape. So you've got scientists that will help you out. You've got... Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. So these guys bore the crap out of you, but they do help you because they do actually open certain doors for you. And the military guys are there to kill you. And the guards are also will also help you out, but they help you out by shooting at the aliens and the soldiers, so it's pretty cool. Can I get through here? Get back. Confused. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Hmm. So I think I'm on the way to the old well network. I think. Right, he's dead. What the flipping hell? Please. Right, where's the sign? Oh, I don't think I can get it through this flipping door, can I? Oh, well, mate, you're on your own, sunshine. Not very pleasant, are you? Yeah, some things explode, so be very careful. Right, 
Down we go. Not quite sure where I'm going, but down we go nonetheless. Ah, the old rail route. These things sound and look quite cute until they let off some kind of sonic wave that does a bit of damage. It's got a train. Let's peg it. Nice. That's a bit of radiation. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, the, the character does seem to slide across the floor a bit too much. Nice use, nice use of the old lighting effect. The old Geiger counters going ballistic. I think he falls through a hole. No, he don't. That's later on, maybe. Fucking jump jumped off. So it looks like I need the ladder after all. Right. Ah, oh, come on. Check out this next bit and then call it a day. It's an absolutely fantastic game. I definitely would recommend playing this. It doesn't look too dated to be honest, even though it's 20 years old. remember what this level is. I think it's got to do with that silo. I might be wrong. Now watch out for this dude here. Didn't want to do that, Paul. Not to be so heavy handed this time.
bit easier. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's a silo. Some set piece back in the day. No, 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 get it off me. Quite dramatic. And the idea is to turn the engine on to burn those things to a crisp. But before I do that, I've got to go downstairs, or oh, downstairs, down to the bottom of the silo, and turn on the fuel. They're sound sensitive, so whatever noise you make, um, they know where you are. For example, you chuck the grenade down and it should follow the sound. There we go, which enables you to go all the way down. So every now and then chuck a grenade. Yeah, this was quite an impressive uh, thing to see back in the day. It was bloody amazing. I think one is getting a little bit carried away. I'm going to stop it about here. Let's go and conclude. So yeah, just to summarise then, Half-Life is still an amazing game to play today. Highly satisfying. Um, I, look, I look on eBay. Uh, you can probably pick this one up between 10 and 30 quid. I believe it or not, people threw it up for the same price. Well, 30 quid. Which is bloody crazy really, but you do need that one to play the other two. I mean the graphics still look good, I think they still look good. They're not as amazing as nowadays games like Red Dead Redemption or well games like Witcher 3 and that, but it's still it's still very practical. Um yeah I love it. Half-Life 2 is fantastic and probably better again, but you can see why this game was the best game of its type when it came out in 1998. It was only marginally better, bettered by Medal of Honor, which came out three, three or four years later on. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's dated in terms of looks, but it's certainly not dated in terms of playability, so give it a go. So that's it, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll see you guys again real soon, so take care and bye for now.